We're going to look at a couple of single plane swings here. The one on the left is my student, the one on the right is Mr. Mo Norman. Uh, setups look very similar. Uh, he has a little issue uh, our student does of straightening his left arm because of an elbow issue. But let's go part way back on the takeaway, see what happens here. We'll go back to about waist high with the club. Go back about waist high with Mo at the club. So what we can see already is that Mo's trail arm is folding more and staying down. Uh, his the rest of it looks very similar. You can also see that his left shoulder is Mo's left shoulder is going down a little bit more. Then where we really see the difference is when we get up to the top of the backswing, Mo's trail arm is under his lead arm, or at least parallel to it. Where our student here is quite a bit uh, above the trail arm. The trail arm is quite a bit above the lead arm. Now as we move down into the impact zone, we can see a nice lateral shift of the lower body, but then it stops. So we'll get down to about waist high again. That's another checkpoint. Now let's take a look at Mo at waist high. See how much more lateral motion there is. And notice where the club is with Mo. The club with Mo is still up here. The student is down here. He's already lost a lot of his club leg. Uh, that's just trying to move the wrong end of the club. And you can see the club's even bending forward a little bit because of the pressure he's putting on. Clear that out of the way. Now we'll move down right to impact. So I'm going to get there. See what happens here is that impact, you can see the student's hand, trail hand is under the club, where Mo's hand, it's harder to see, but Mo's hand is on top of the club and extending down the target line a long ways through impact. Uh, what Mo does here is, uh, if we could see it better, we'd see the back of the right hand starting to appear right about there. You can see the extension, and notice how low now the <coughs> lead elbow is, where the student, the elbow comes up. <coughs> excuse me, allergy season. And you can see with the, the, the student here that the um, the um, the trail hand now is underneath the golf club instead of coming over the top of the golf club. And as he rotates through the finish, the elbow just keeps getting higher and higher. With Mo, you can see the elbow stays down, and he ends up very similar to where he was at the takeaway position. Uh, so what we need to work on with the student is getting the trail elbow uh, to go down on the follow-through and I mean on the backswing the lead elbow go down on the follow-through.